Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Whether you're in need of a website, domain or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. So this week we got hit by quite a lot of snow where I live. That's meant I haven't been able to go out and do quite as much as I'd like. But anyway, here's what I've got up to. So following the last video on this channel, the conversation which I had with Robin, one of the things he said really stuck to me. Getting a photo back and knowing that you could have maybe changed a few things to make it that bit better. That's something which I was like, yeah, I could definitely do that. It really resonated with me and this inspired me to go back to the dead tree which I included in the last weekly vlog. Go back and just try and get a new perspective on it and kind of tap into some of the things which I thought could make the image stronger. So I ended up with this image. I always had the idea of making a self-portrait because it was all about this kind of exploring and stepping into the fantasy world. That was the thing that interested me in this scene in the first place. So actually going and kind of acting that out in a self-portrait, I think that kind of tapped into exactly what I wanted. Really happy with how the tones came out. I think black and white suits the image more. And yeah, I'm just really happy with it. And I'm pleased to announce that we have new merch. This image is on the back of the t-shirt, which is a new logo t-shirt on the front, this image on the back. Really happy with how it looks. We switched to represent a more typical classic YouTube merch fulfillment type thing. I really would have liked to release more stuff since the last stuff to now, but there was a lot of like logistical issues with managing everything myself. I'd love to do everything. I'd love to be in more of the process, but I think this is the best way to go moving forwards. It's also helping keep the costs down and kind of keeping me free to hopefully make more videos. So if you'd like to support the channel, represent the army, <laughs> NF army, I'm never going to say that again. Find the link in the description. They're only for sale for a limited amount of time. So uh, yeah, go and check it out. So this week I was kind of going through some drawers and throwing out some stuff and I actually stumbled upon the first ever camera which I bought. I thought this was really crazy to kind of pull out this relic of days gone. I mean, I say relic, it's a digital camera, it's not that old. Strange, it like had this weird feeling when I found it and sadly I couldn't find the charger. But after some digging around on Google, I managed to order one. I was really happy to try and like take a trip down memory lane and see how this camera would like compare now that I've got like new actual knowledge of photography, could I use this old camera, which probably has quite a lot of limitations, to take some photos which nowadays I would deem as nice. So after 12 hours of charging, it booted up. It was great. It, it works. Everything appears to be fine. The uh, controls are pretty rubbish. You can't really tell if anything's in focus because the LCD on the back is like so bad. But I took it out in the snow and I tried to take some photos. Since the conditions this week weren't really great for what I wanted to try with this camera, I think I'm going to have to kind of reserve it off for another week. But I thought it'd be really interesting to try and get myself or some other photographers to do the classic kind of cheap camera limitation, can you still get past it if you have some interesting techniques. Also, the uh, SD card on it is only one gigabyte. And that means you can only take 16 photos. So it's quite like shooting a roll of film. It's really strange. So yeah, just putting that out there. Also, I went out and took some photos on 8x10 this week. Uh, I took two portraits of my friend called Josiah. So it was a pretty glum, moody day. It was like just a small window in between rain. It wasn't really like the perfect settings to take portraits, but I thought I'd do it anyway. I really wanted to just go out there and make something. So I ended up taking two different ones. One from further away, a portrait of him and his dog, and then also a closer up one of just him. I'm really happy with how both came out. I think the one from further away has a really nice use of depth. It's this kind of look which you can only really get by shooting large format of this such shallow fall off, even though the subject is quite small in the frame. And it just looks great, it has such a nice feeling. However, I think the portrait of Josiah by himself works a lot better. There's a lot more emotion in it and it kind of captures the feeling which I was actually hoping for. The detail's crazy, he managed to pull off the movements correctly so that both of his eyes are in focus, even though he wasn't facing straight, uh, which is something which is also only possible with a large format camera, where basically you're moving the lens, you're tilting or shifting it so that everything you want is in focus. So yeah, really happy with how this came out. This one is going to sit in my project, I'm currently working on, uh, which as I said in the last video, I will be telling you more about soon. So in January and February, every year, there's normally like a huge amount of cheap flights. I don't know if this is the same everywhere, but in Europe, you can normally go somewhere from like between five and 20 pounds. I ended up booking this really last minute trip with my friend Harry, where we would go to Aarhus in Denmark. 
We didn't really have that much plan to go there, and the only reason why I chose there in the first place, because it's the origin of this coffee shop which I really like. Been on their coffee subscription for like two years. I was just really interested to go and visit the actual location. I thought it just might be a nice trip. Like the last time I went to Denmark, I really enjoyed it. Why not go again? And it's something I actually saw on Twitter like a few months ago. This guy who said that he always just books these spur of the moment, really cheap trips to somewhere foreign, but really affordable. And he gets a few other freelancers and they all go there and work from this new place. He said he found it really refreshing to kind of go somewhere, take some of the new culture in, but mainly just go there and pretend you live there and do some work. So that was my plan. It sounded pretty fun. We ended up actually spending a lot of the time with Esben, who's the founder of the coffee shop. We had a great time, did lots of things, mainly drinking and eating loads. We did some exploring, walked around. It was just like really refreshing. The trip cost so little money. Like the flights were 20 pounds, so it's something that I'd really encourage everyone to look for. I know it can often be like daunting to go and travel because it's so expensive, but it doesn't always have to be. One of the things which was really great there was the art museum. It's called Aros, Aros, I don't know. Such an excessive entrance. Look at the amount of stairs just to get in this thing. It was really, really great. There was such a vast collection of work on show. Some really weird modern stuff, some beautiful classical paintings. It's so rare for me to like find so much like joy in looking at classical paintings, but some of the landscapes they had there had just such like great use of lighting. Yeah, it just felt like I was studying the most amazing landscape photos, but instead they're really well painted and from ages ago. There's also this rainbow walkway on the top, which is really interesting. It kind of really confuses your eyes and has this great view. So that's really nice to go and take some photos in. It's bizarre. It's, I can't tell if my camera's picking up any of the colors because I, when I look at the phone, it's shining a different light on the glass and I'm so confused. <laughs> and there was also just loads of like installation pieces as opposed to stuff on the wall. Uh, so I ended up taking this series of abstract portraits of Harry for fun, I guess. There's no real reason to do this. So when I got home, uh, to thank Esben for the hospitality he gave us, I decided I'd make a nice print and send that to him as a thank you. So I prepared this photo of the sea which I took on 8x10 in Cornwall last year now. And normally I print on Hanamula pearl paper. When I went to Bayer, they had two different versions of pearl. Pearl rag and pearl fine art. And I didn't know which one was the one that I normally use. So we ended up doing two test strips of the print. And then I could kind of study both and figure out which one I thought suited the image the most. And it ended up being that the rag was a much softer paper, which meant the ink seeped into it more. So in the darker portions of the image towards the bottom, it looked really faded in comparison and kind of lost a lot of detail. So I ended up going with the fine art version, which just had this like sharper overall consistent tone. I'm really glad I did the test strips. It's something which I'd recommend everyone doing because it's so important, especially when the print is so big, to know what you're gonna get and that what you get is exactly how you want it to be. So we printed it off at 50 by 40 inches and it just looks incredible. It looks so vast and kind of overwhelming. And it kind of gives off exactly the right feel that I was trying to capture when I took the photo. I just always have this feeling that kind of like you're looking out of the ocean and you never kind of felt as small. It's so big. This just like looks endless when you're there standing next to it. I think I've captured the essence of that mesmerizing kind of feeling. Yeah, really happy with this. Uh, I don't think it transfers into video quite as well, but yeah, it looks great. Okay, so for the photo conversation, I have picked Will Slater 53 for this lovely photo of what I first thought was a reflection of the sky, but actually it's like a nice little puddle of snow. Is it a puddle of snow? I guess it's like a crater. You can't really have a puddle of snow. I thought this paired really nicely with the last one, obviously, since they're both kind of puddles. And there's just something about how like it replicates the clouds. It looks really cool. And bonus points for the second thing in the carousel, which is a video of him. I'm not going to play that here. You have to go and find it yourself. So uh, yeah, shout out to Will Slater. If you'd like to contribute to the next conversation, if you've taken an image or want to take an image that pairs nicely with this, upload that to Instagram and hashtag it with NF Conversation. And in the next video, I'll pick one out and uh, it continues on from there. So finally, I'd like to thank Squarespace again for sponsoring this video. If you need to buy a domain, build a website, build a blog, 
a web shop, pretty much anything to do with websites, Squarespace has you covered. It's particularly great for building a photography portfolio and it has really amazing professional results without needing any prior experience. And what's even better is that you can get 10% off if you use the code negative feedback. So thank you very much for watching this video. Next week, I think we'll do a camera review, but I'm not too sure yet. So uh, yeah, see you soon.